then once I mount the Mac Mini to the back here, as you'll see, it's gonna basically be like right there, slap to the back of it. I, I'll be able to literally just like go anywhere in my house. That's the plan. I haven't even set this guy up yet. So I'm gonna mount it to the back. I'm gonna try to mount everything up. Then I'll set it up here, go through the whole installation process and give you my, my initial reaction to this new Mac Mini. All right, so here we go. I just put the bracket on. You can see it right there. And now we are going to start attaching our stuff. So I'm taking the, the Mac Mini and I'm sliding it in right there. And there we go. Look at that. Nice and snug, and I like that the fan is exposed so it can basically, and it because the bottom is black, it matches the back of the, uh, which is kind of cool. So um, I'm gonna connect the monitor, which is this guy right here. Make sure that's nice and snug. <clears throat> I'm gonna have, this is the Mac Mini plug. This guy's for the Mac Mini here. <clears throat> Let's see, we have the HDMIs. So we got HDMI right there. And that guy is gonna go right there. So look at that, beautiful short cables, amazing. Um, now this guy, what I was thinking of doing is basically sticking it there. So I need to get a piece of Gorilla Tape so that I can stick that there. I can't find my Gorilla Tape for some reason, but this is basically where it's gonna go. And then, uh, oh wait, this guy is not gonna reach though. Hmm. So maybe I should put it on this side. Will this one reach on this side? Oh man. I'm getting out. I think I just hit a hiccup. Or maybe I put it up here. Maybe like right here. And then this guy can go. Let me, let me plug this in over here. Put that guy in there. And the Mac Mini can go. Oh, can go right there. Um, hmm. You know what? I think if I just no, I think it will. It it can work right there. Yeah, it works. Cause I don't know that I want it to be up here. I mean, I could put it up there, and then have this cable when I'm not using it. I can just wind it up and have it right there. So yeah, maybe I'll do that. The HDMI though is kind of in the way, so I think I want to move this out of the way for now, <clears throat> excuse me. And so I'm gonna try to stick it right there. And then that way I can run the HDMI. Ugh. Like that. Yeah, that, that works a lot better. And actually the monitor cable, I can really connect over here. And that leaves me with like another outlet open. And I got these USB-Cs right here to charge my phone or whatever. So look at that. <laughs> that pretty nice, especially with the short cables, you know? And then I got, you know, the little um, external drive that'll get plugged in here. And that, that I'll, I can probably just like stick up here or something like that, maybe like that. Yeah. Cool. Let's crank this baby up. All right, so some command strips and a little determination. And look at this. Look at that. The back of this monitor has the Mac Mini attached I ran all these little short wires, perfect. And I was able to 3M, I'm gonna just hold it up so you can see. Look at that. That's the back of the monitor right there with the Mac Mini attached. So now we're gonna set this aside uh, over here. Got my keyboard. 
Got my mouse. We're gonna turn this bad boy on and we're gonna see what happens. I, I, uh, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Actually, you know what? I think I might, uh, might put it on this side. Now the power button is not an issue because it's, it's on the back. So I'm gonna power it on. I just heard it do its little thing. This is exciting, guys. All right, I got the welcome screen. Click to continue. Took a while to get the, 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 the keyboard and the mouse paired. I don't know why, I don't know it's because maybe these are older, uh, but wow, look at this. This is actually like the first time I'm actually also seeing this monitor um, connected to a computer that can actually like push it graphically. Um, I had it connected to like my old um, Mac mini. That's like an i5, like from 2014. And that thing wasn't really pumping out. Uh, so I'm curious what resolution we're seeing here. So let's see, we'll go to display, man. I mean, it looks good. I mean, I'm like, look how close I am to the screen and it actually looks really nice. Let's see. Okay, this is the LG Ultra HD. Let's see, can I go 4K on this thing? Whoa, yeah, that's way too tiny. No, we want large text. <laughs> yeah. I gotta I gotta whip out the glasses. Okay. Uh, now let's go to the mouse because I don't like the mouse scrolling naturally. I don't like that. I'm gonna have to get the old glasses out, guys. Because I'm an old I'm an old man. I'll be right back. Okay. It's um it's late i got caught up just playing with this thing and installing chrome so that i can see some 4k youtube and I, i'm impressed so far i'm gonna keep installing software over the course of the weekend i plugged in my uh my one terabyte drive i'm gonna do a um i want to do a, a drive test to see how fast it is but man i mean just opening tabs and like opening and closing app so far is so snappy granted it's brand new it's you know i'm not really running anything intensive um but man the little speaker on it is pretty loud all things considered for something so small the speaker sounds pretty good and it's behind the monitor and i can hear it like pretty pretty well so anyway um i give this thing two thumbs up i love my little setup that i have i mean it's literally just one monitor that you know you can just like have it's like everything is just connected to this one monitor one cable to plug into the outlet everything else is there my external drive i i uh put it right up here so like the external drive is right there my power is right there the mac mini is right there i still have one two thunderbolt 5 ports open in the back plus i still have my two usb-c ports that are underneath here on the which is the front of the mac minis pointing down and the headphone jack is still available so i mean yeah and then you know i mean got the with the wireless keyboard and mouse like this is this is amazing i can't wait to just like pick this up and put it like bring it to my dining room table and just like be able to work in the dining room table in our kitchen and while my wife is you know in the kitchen i can just be there um i mean it's like having it's like an iMac. Let's be face it. It's like an iMac, except I didn't pay iMac prices, you know. And the great thing about this is that if I, I could take this Mac Mini and I can take it out and plug it into this projector screen back here if I wanted it to, uh, with the same keyboard, wireless keyboard and mouse, or I can take it and plug it into a different monitor somewhere. Or I can take it with me and just plug it in anywhere. So, anyway, this is really great. This video has gone long enough. I just wanted to share this and, um, um. Just pleasantly surprised with this M4 so far, and I can't wait to play with it and do more videos and create more content on this channel and on my other channel, uh, Jedi Toy Masters, which is all Star Wars stuff. And um, hopefully I'm going to try to do more live streams on there as well. And my wife's channel, Simply Made Fancy. So I'm going to link all that below. This is the beginning. This is like a new, fresh start. I'm hyped that now I have a computer that can handle the workflow. Um, 
and this little camera right here that I'm super impressed with that I'm recording on right now. So stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in. And I got to go to bed.